What is up everyone? Tragic here and I'm going to open up this set booster box of Zendikar Rising um, because it's nearing the end of the year and I want to and um, I realized that this box was not put out in this year so it's really not a year end like recap or whatever. But I'm just really after some of those sweet sweet lands that might come in this box and we'll get to the box topper later which it's like glued on there. So, fun time, sit back, relax, subscribe, like, comment down below, all that good stuff, and um, let me know what you think. So, here we go, Zendikar Rising, let me pull these all out, and get even partially organized, let's go, go relatively quickly for your viewing pleasure. And as always, I will be scanning up uh, any of the good cards. Uh, we got some full art islands, and I will be very disorganized. And I'll be trying to pull some decent stuff. Here we go. Cinderclasm. I'm going to check that one. Glasspool Mimic. Glasspool Shore on the other side. Let's scan it up. That is a three dollar and fifty cent rare to get started. There. We got a Roiling Vortex. There's three rares in this pack right there. Gen people 53 cents the foil version probably not a whole lot more 99 Jaya's emulating inferno from the list from dominaria so probably not a big one and <clears throat> that's unfortunate cinderclasm sees some play but it's only like 25 cents but we'll keep it i am uh, actually looking for kind of like playable cards to build decks with so that would be one of them right there Oh yeah, what is this guy? Expedition Healer. The Chill Depths. Got to, uh, this is a party pack here. Not a party pack of tacos though, that's for sure. Valka Exploration. It's got landfall. I'm kind of looking for that kind of stuff. It's a buck. Resolute Strike. Can go there and a copy token. Probably pause and see like what are the good comes and uncommons in this set because I'm not positive. Hopefully I'll know them when I see them. Ruin Crab would be one that we'd probably want to check. It's uh, you know it, you love it, you hate it. Um, it's a card that gets played a lot. Nighthawk Scavenger it is a buck forty nine and a Royal Eruption in foil. You know what? I will check that actually as a foil. So like, yeah, it didn't see it right anyway. If, there's not much of a foil multiplier for standard cards. Like if it's not going to be hot outside of standard, uh, which that one probably wouldn't be, there's not a, a whole lot to a multiplier for it, right? So I'm not going to bother with it, to be honest. We've got a Nimble Trap Finder. It's 34 cents. And a Calming Licid not the listed we are looking for. So yeah, the list as usual, um, <clears throat> I find it a bit underwhelming to find like a common or uncommon that no one needed to have reprinted. Just saying, let's see. Kazandu Nectar Pot. So the uh, showcase in this um, set, I'm also not that big of a fan. A lot of the showcase um, cards in the different sets have like a really cool border. This one's like okay to me, but it's really nothing that uh, gets my <clears throat> attention. This is good. I will take these uh, dual modal face um, pathways any day of the week. 595, so that's a keeper for me. Noel Priest of Oblivion is a little bit as well. And learn how to do some combat damage. That's pretty helpful. Angel Warrior. It's a mountain. It's a mountain. Got foil full art planes. I'll pull that one. Broken Wings. Blood Chief's Thirst is one that I'll at least scan. I know it gets a little bit of play. It's 50 cents. I'll keep it. Bubble Snare. Ha Hagra Mauling. Hagra Brew Crit on the back. Buck 26. Shadows Verdict in foil. That's nice. Uh, let's see if I can get it to scan. So. Scanner does not like foil sometimes. The glare. It's a problem. Look, yeah, 10 cents more for a foil. Uh, 
This guy is a Celestial Colonnade. That would be nice to find. Uh, although I'd rather have like a Cavern of Souls, to be honest. Crag Plate Baloth. 35 cents. So, Platinum Angel, there's a Mythic from the list. I'll take that. You can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. That's a pretty good situation to be in. Platinum Angel from Mirrodin. And then from the list, 10 bucks. Good times. All right, here we go. Forest. It's like the same forest, I think. Uh, a Legac. Wind Robber. Do we play Rogues anymore? Zareth Sand, the Trickster. 43 cents. And a Dreadworm. Oops. And there's a gold foil stamped Needle Verge Pathway. Art card. Uh, gold stamped. Couple bucks. Whoops. Put them right here. There it is. Chilling Trap. Blood Chief's Thirst. And a Showcase Rune Crab. How is that any different? It's like the same 99 cents. And a Valica Exploration with a Showcase Frame. And an Amarius Call. So that's a pretty decent pack right there. That is not a Stenzia Blood Hall. Again with the Glare. Just can't handle it sometimes. Come on. There you go. Showcase 99 cents. Amarius Call. Four bucks. And that is a Mythic. You can go into the Mythic pile. And this goes there. And that one goes there. What are you guys doing today? We got a Linvala. Feed the Swarm. No, Moss Pit Skeleton. Legac. Oops. Scourge of the Skyclaves. Another Mythic. 399. Fisher Wizard and a Golden Glow Moth. What's this? Reclaim the Wastes. Oops. Just knock all my stuff over here. I need to spread out a little more. Get over there. Uh, did not miss one. Root Razor. Shatter Skull Charger. Not familiar. Nothing too amazing yet. Looking for those amazing pulls. So another stamped one. That's a uh, Umara Wizard. Oops. Come on. Do it. See the thing. Maybe it's stuck. So the Umara Wizard art card cannot be seen. We're going to assume it's like a buck or something. Sure. And move on. Got some kind of extended border stuff coming up. We've got Needleverse Pathway extended and a Pillarverse. So that's cool. 338 for the borderless. Pathways are useful. Uh, we got Jace, Mirror Mage, Full Swamp. Uh, let's see, we got Maul of Skyclave. So this should be pretty decent. A couple bucks maybe? Uh, not quite, it's a dollar. Maddening Cacophony and Foil. Can I even see it? I don't think that's one that's going to be a lot. <clears throat> it is not a Double Master's Land. And an Arcbound Slith. Nothing too crazy there. Take it off. Some kind of Goblin. He's a Teeter Peak Ambusher. Turn to Oblivion. Was that... Uh, it looked like the same card, like in two in a row. Legion Angel. A couple of rares. Master of Winds. Come on. Nope, nothing big there. I don't know about this box. It's uh, not coming through for me yet. Got half of it to go. <clears throat> Plains, Swamp. Kindy. 
the might. We've got a bright climb pathway. We've got a pathway box. It's four bucks. You need this box topper to save it, I think. Core Cliffhaven, something or another. The war leader. We got a maddening cacophony. Well, at least we can get it to scan, probably. It's actually 250, so the foil one might have been 260. Amateur. Seagate. Acquisitions expert. I'm just going to check it because it sees play. But not enough to make it worth much. Linvala. 50 cents for the promo pack version. Even less for the regular version. This box is a bit of a dud so far. Calastria. Now it's Drana. Drana, the last blood chief. There she is, right there. Two eighty-six for a mythic, and it, well, that's pretty cool from the list. Um, full art terminate. Uh, original from like a promo version or whatever. Can it see it? Come on. Come on, scanner, do your thing. Stop being a pain. I have to actually add that in manually. All right, terminate. Oops. And that is going to be, gosh, like the player rewards version. I guess it's really the mystery booster. Bink, 96 cents. It's the different version. It's been printed 50, 100 times, right? The list. Wow, okay, great. There it is, so. The list version, it says it's ten ninety nine, so that's actually pretty pickable right there. We'll take it. This is happening. There's a mountain. Lagak. A Kiri. And a and an ooze. Cut. The Cinder Cosmic. Didn't I didn't I scan that earlier? Yeah, I did. It's like nothing, but I'm gonna keep it. Skyclave Relic. And Chronicler. That's two bucks. Need some amazing to pull this out here. Got uh, coveted prize is not gonna do it, and a mist binder from the list. Nectar pot, fireblade charger, luminarch aspirant. So this is a keeper for me. It might be worth a couple bucks. It's a pretty good card. Yeah, it's well. Hold on. Four ninety nine. Alright, it's good. I need one of those. Pickaxe and another Drana. And it was only like two bucks for the regular one. Two something. Tazri Rune Crab 99 cents or something Seagate Restoration and the Reborn on the back 12 bucks for a Mythic that's decent I actually might break even on this box Uh, let's 
let's see here. We got Inscription of Unity. 38 cents. And a Lotus Blam. There we go. Uh, from the list. From Time Spiral. Uh, a couple bucks for the list version. Cool. Squid, Kazandu, Mammoth, an entire 50 cents. Throne of McKindy. Can it see it? As a foil, it is an entire 10 cents more. Yep, 11 cents, in fact. What is this? A forest and a mountain. Got Skyclave Shade at 49 cents. Okay. What's that? A Shia. Cleric Skyclave Apparition. Good card. That's one that might be around for a while. Six bucks. Storm collar. Charix, the Raging Isle, and a Yashorn of being 50 cents. And a Root Runner. Sacrifice it, put target land on top of its owner's library, and you can soul shift it. You may return target spirit card from your to your hand. I don't even think that's going to be worth scanning. Go out on a limb there. Sky K, Clay Basilica. Okay, last pack, then we'll do the uh, box topper. We got an Ancient Green Warder. Warden. Nice mythic there at the end. Ooh, ooh, not, maybe. Hold on. It's. Yep, it is 11 bucks. There we go. Alright, so we got plenty of mythics here. We got a Magmatic Channeler. And I don't know what this promo pack is, but every time it sees it, just like that. A Vastwood Surge. All right, box topper time. Let's do it. Can we get something spicy here? It is. It's not one of those double ones, is it? No, we got. Boom! That is how it is there. Cavernous Souls. I'll take it. I will definitely take it. Um, <clears throat> non foil. That's fine. It is $104. Wow. I thought printing more of these would bring the price down. Uh, it does not seem to have that effect. It just creates more demand. Cavernous Souls to close it out. That was a pretty good box. Honestly, it was seemed very lackluster through the middle, um, but it ended up being solid. I uh, got a few staples that I needed, and be uh, moving on. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. Let's do it, and have a good one. Bye.